Okay. So since um, we're done already with the couple, this time we have the force couple system. On the previous lesson, when it comes to the couples, no, uh, walang resultant. So puro lang talaga moments or couples na tinatawar. But uh, there are cases, no, or most of the time, or the cases is that there is a resultant force and there is a couple also, no. So, gagamitin natin siya when we deal with the equilibrium as well as on the resultants soon. Okay? So, this is a force couple system. It means aside from the couples, we have also the force as a resultant. Okay? So, let's um, have um, this problem. So, a 15 pound force acts at point A on a high pressure water cup. Replace this force with a force couple system. The force of which acts at point B and letter B, two horizontal forces acting at point B and the other acting at point C. Okay. So, kung papansin natin dito sa figure natin on the right side, okay, okay, okay. Sige. So, on the right side, makikita natin na meron kang force which is the 15 newton pounds, okay. So, wala siyang ibang kapair. So, it means there is a resultant. Okay? Ngayon, kung titingnan natin sa unang question, it would be acting, okay, sa point B. So, ang gagawin daw natin, ililipat natin yung 15 pound force dun sa point B. Kaya lang, dapat equivalent pa rin sila. Tatatandaan nyo, we have answers a lot of equivalent uh, systems. So, gagawin lang natin, Ililipat natin yung 15 pound force dun sa point na gusto natin ilipat. Pero, since dapat yung summation of forces niya as well as summation of moment at that point is still the same. Okay? So, for example, using this one, okay, as the figure. Yung titignan natin yung figure muna, no, yung given. Okay? So, makikita natin na at point B, may moment yung 15 pounds, which is 15 times 6, ano? Okay, so at point A, ililipat natin yung resultant dun sa point B. Pero dahil yung 15 pound force mo ay may moment dun sa point B, magkakaroon ka ng couple dun sa point B. Or anywhere, no? Since a couple is a free vector, so ibig sabihin kahit saan siya dumuga, okay lang. So okay lang din na sa point B na lang natin ilagay. Okay, so ano yung moment na yun? So that is negative 15 pounds multiply uh, That is the result na no? summation forces lang tayo. So since yung 15 pounds natin ay to the left, no? So we denote that as negative 15. So yun nakagad yung sagot, yun nakagad yung force mo. How about the moment? So the moment is just negative 15 times 6. Okay? So, that is equal to 90 pound inch. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, kapag negative yung ating moment, that's just a, count, uh, a clockwise direction. Okay? So, yun na yung sagot sa letter B. A uh, letter A. Now, for the letter B, dalawang horizontal forces naman daw. The first one is acting at point B, and the second one is acting at point C. So, how is that? So, ganyan yung mangyayari. So, isang force mo is acting on point B and the other one is acting on point C. So, syempre, dapat yung kanyang resultant is still the 15. Okay, 15 pounds. Okay? And uh, since wala na tayong couple, binigay niya kasi is two forces daw. No? So, we have the force PB and then the force PC. And then, these two would be a couple. Okay? Sila yung mag... Um, sila yung magkikreate ng couple which is clockwise in direction. So, to do that, so yung PB natin is to PC equals to, uh, PB is equals to PC, it means that they are a couple. Okay? Separated by a distance D which is 2.2 inches. Okay? So, yung moment at point B, sabi natin that is 90 pound inch. Okay? As we have determined no, yung una nating problem. Okay? Tapos, i-divide natin yun by a distance, 2.2. So, to create the couple of negative 90, we multiply the PC or the PB since equal naman silang dalawa sa 2.2. So, you will get 
PB equals to PC equals to 90.9 a uh, 40.91 pounds. Okay? So, yun lang. So, ang ginawa lang natin, inilipat lang natin yung result at ang pinaka-importanting concept dyan is that yung makikreate natin na pre-body diagram in any figure should be equivalent dun sa ating given. Okay po? Sige, copy po. Okay, so let's have the problem to point 25. Okay, where's my Apple Pencil? Okay. The three forces shown are equivalent to a 50 kN upward force at A and a 170 kN counterclockwise copper. Determine P and then Q. Okay. So for what? Okay. So here, ang gagawin natin, we could take summation forces muna, no? So since kapag, eh, ang mga forces po na yan, kapag naka 2D ka, ang tawag po sa kanila is, they are coplanar forces, okay? But they are not intersecting or concurrent forces. But they are parallel, no? As long as naka 2D ka, for example, 2D yung problem, ang tawag sa kanila, lahat ng forces na makikita mo doon, most of the time, is the call the coplanar forces. It means they lie on the same plane. So, we take the summation forces. Okay? So, nahin muna natin summation forces vertical. Okay? So, pag tinake natin yung summation forces vertical, ang sabi niya, it is equal to 50 kN. Okay? Ngayon, writing that, we can have upward force P, and then ima-minus natin si Q, and then i-add natin si 20. Okay? So, again, the resultant force should be 50 kN upward. That would be equation 1 dahil dalawa yung unknowns natin. If in a certain equation mayroon kang two unknown variables, it means you need at least or at least no, you need two equations to solve the problem. So kailangan pa nating mag um, gumawa ng equation. For ecoplanar forces, meron ka lang tatlong equations. Summation forces horizontal, summation forces vertical, at saka the moment, okay? Yung summation forces horizontal, wala kang makukuha doon kasi wala ka namang force sa horizontal axis. So, meron ka lang force sa vertical. So, hindi natin pwedeng gamitin si horizontal forces. But we could make a moment. Okay? So, we could take the moment at point A kasi according to the problem, the moment at point A or a couple at point A is 170 kN counterclockwise. So, it means that would be a positive. Now, considering that our counterclockwise is a positive direction. So, kuha tayo ng moment. So, nahin natin yung force P. Meron ka dong moment arm na 2. Okay? So, you have there this point P. Ayan. So, point P. Then, meron ka dong 2 meters. Okay? And then, next, meron kang Q. Ang moment arm niya is from this point hanggang dun sa point na yun, which is equal to 5. And then, lastly, that would be negative, no? It will rotate clockwise manner. So, lastly is 20. Meron kang moment arm na 7 meters. Okay? So, equals to 70. And that would be your equation 2. Simplify natin. Simplify natin equation. So, you can have 2P minus 5Q. Ilipat natin sa kabila yung 140. So, 170 minus 140 is 30. So, given two equations, two unknowns. So solving simultaneously, you can use your calculator or you can have it manual. So you can have the value of P equals to 40 kN and Q is equals to 10 kN. Okay? Ngan lang, kasimple. So coplanar forces using parallel forces. Okay, now let's have the problem 2.87. The figure shows a schematic of a torsion bar suspension of an automobile. The torsion bar appears in cross section at A. Okay? So, yun daw yung A. Uh, if the three forces, okay, if the three forces and the couple C equals to 900 pound feet are equivalent to a upward, to an upward vertical force R equals to 1,200 pounds acting at point D, determine the value of H and then the V. Okay. So, ngayon, may binigay, sabi niya, yung moment daw at point C is equivalent to 90. So, kung mapapansin natin dun sa figure, yung couple natin sa point C is a uh, 
counterclockwise direction. So we will take that as positive. Take tayo ng moment doon. So pag nag-take tayo ng moment sa point A, walang moment yung vertical force V mo dahil tumatama siya sa point A, wala rin tong moment. Okay? So ang meron ka lang moment is the H and then the D. Then i-add natin yung couple na C. Okay? So, three forces and uh, couple. So, nahin natin yung H. Okay? Um, by the way, yung pound, uh, yung couple natin, naka-fit ano. So, definitely, yung ating moment arm, i-convert natin dapat sa fit. So, that's why yung 10 natin dito, i-divide natin by 12. Okay? So, it will rotate counterclockwise. So, we take that as positive. And then, plus 190. So, you can have that as uh, uh, for a while. Okay? You can have that as our moment at point C. Yung nasa point di daw, yung R non, is the resultant. So, ibig sabihin, yung summation ng lahat ng forces. Nung V at saka nung H. Okay? So, due to the resultant, so, yun naman kunin natin, so, that is 1,200 pounds and then we'll multiply natin by ang distance niya is this one. So, 20 inches. I-divide natin by 12 para maging feet. So, you can have it the moment at C. So, since both the moments are equal, pwede natin silang ipag-equate. So, equating both sides, 1,200 pounds multiplied by 20 over 12 equals to yung una nating moment at C which is H times 10 over 12 plus 900, we can get the value of H which is equal to 1,320 pounds. So, having said, so we can now have the summation forces vertical. But take note, no? Ang summation forces vertical lang naman natin dito, ang force lang natin is V. Siya na rin yung R, no? So, you can have the V equals to 1,200 Okay? Sige pa. You may post the video to copy. So let's have the 2.289. The magnitude of the force F acting at point A on the plate is 160 kN. Determine the equivalent force couple system with the force acting at point O. Ayan. So, kanina 2D lang. No? So, ngayon ang gagawin natin, um, 3D in 3-dimensional space. So, you should take the resultant. Hanapin mo yung resultant. Tapos, ililipat natin siya dito sa point O. Ayan, dilipat mo siya dyan sa point O. Pero, dahil sa point O, may moment from point O to point A, no? So, may moment yung force F. Magkakaroon din siya ng couple. So, for this problem, you take the resultant and you take the moment at that point para makuha natin yung force couple system. Doing so, we can have RAB. Okay, unahin natin RAB. So, yung RAB, naglagay na ako ng coordinates. 2.2 sa X, 0, and 2 sa Y and Z respectively. Sa B naman, so we can have 0 for the X, 2 for the Y, and 0 for the Z. So we can have the position vector negative 2.2. Okay, again, RAB tayo, no? So it means B minus A. So 0 minus 2.2 equals to negative 2.2I plus 2 minus 0 equals 2J plus 0 minus 2 minus 2K. Okay? So, after that, pwede na natin kunin yung force, no? So, yung sa pagkuha ng force, you may have the calculator, no? Pukunin mo muna yung unit vector and then you multiply it by 160 to get the force. So, with that, you can have the force equivalent to negative 98.23 of I plus 89.3 of J minus 89.3 of K. Okay? Next. Yung resultant natin, since isa lang naman yung force mo, wala nang iba, iyon na rin yung pinaka-resultant mo, which is equivalent to negative 98.23 of I plus 89.3 of J minus 89.3 of K. Alright? So, lastly, we need to find the couple or the resultant couple. So, to take that, since ililipat natin siya sa point O, so parang ito, 
lipat natin nakagan nakaganon lang din yung ano no? nakaganon lang din yung f mo okay so iyan din yung resultant mo kaya lang meron kang couple diyan okay so that couple represents the moment of the force f about the point o okay so kailangan natin kumuha ngayon ng position vector from point o to any point on the line of action of the force so nain ko na si ob no kasi si ob madali lang so nasa i uh, nasa j axis lang siya So you can have 0i plus 2j and then plus 0k. So meron na akong force doon. So I could have the moment at point O. Position vector R will be cross product of the R equals 2. Ayan. So again, you can use your calculator now to determine the moment. Ano? So you can have 178.6 of i plus 0j minus 196.46 of k. Yung moment mo doon, dahil wala ka namang ibang force, kung meron kang ibang forces, itatake mo ulit yung moment sa point O. No? So, summation ng lahat ng moment doon sa point O. But since isa lang naman yung force mo, iyan na rin yung inyong couple resultant. Okay? So, again, you have now the resultant and then the couple. Okay? Kapag ka mayroong kang resultant, okay, at ililipat mo siya to other point, Surely, na meron yung couple. So, it's always a force and then the couple. Okay? Lagi silang magka-partner. That's it for 2.89. Okay? So, we'll have the next one, which is 2.91. Okay, replace the force F equals to negative 2,800i plus 1,600j plus 3,000k pounds acting at end A of the crank handle with the force R acting at point O and a couple vector C R. Okay, so unahin muna natin yung A. So for the A, ang gagawin natin, kukunin muna natin yung resultant. No? Again, isang force lang ulit to. Okay, so kung ano yung force mo, iyan na rin yung pinaka-resultant. Okay, so kung ano yung given mo, okay, kung ano yung given mo, iyan na rin yung R mo. Okay, kasi isa. Pero kung dalawa yan o tatlo, you need to add all the forces. And then the sum, yun po yung ating pinaka-resultant. Okay, now, we need to take the moment about point O kasi ang gusto natin makuha is... Um, resultant dun sa point O. Okay? So, hahanap tayo ng point from point O papunta dun sa line of action ng force F. Pinakamadli niyan yung point A. So, we need to get the position vector ROA. Okay? Doing so, we can have 10I, again, A minus O, ano? 10I plus 5J minus 4K. Okay? And then, you need to take the moment. Okay? Okay? Um, by the way, yung ating uh, force is found, gawin natin siyang, I guess, na feet, no? So, para yung ating couple ay naka-pound feet. Okay? So, dinivide ko lang by 12 lahat, ano? And then, we need to take now the cross product. So, ROA, position vector ROA, cross product of F. So, you may use your calculator. So, lagi na natin siyang ginagawa ng manually before. So, that is negative 1,783.33 of I plus 1,566.67 of J minus 2,500 of K. Again, kung ano yung moment mo sa point O ng force na yan, since nag-iisa siya, yun na rin yung pinaka-couple resultant mo. Okay? So, the answer at point A is the force R and then the couple resultant CR. Alright? So, let's now proceed with the letter B. Basahin natin letter B. Resolve the R component into component P normal to the cross-section of the shaft. Okay. Ano ba yun? Ito yung cross-section ng shaft mo, no? So, for a while. Okay. Ito yung cross-section mo. Ayan. Okay. Okay. So, kung titingnan natin siya, okay, kumbaga, tingnan ko sa, sa, sa front view, ano, kumbaga, ito yung shaft mo, okay, 
Yung normal component, that is the force perpendicular dun sa pinaka cross section mo. Kapag sinabi kong cross section, kapag kinat mo yung section A, yun lalabas ano. So, anyway, you will be having more of this on deformable bodies. But for now, that is a force. Now, when it comes to the shear component, that is the parallel dun sa ating area. So, meron kang dalawang parallel dyan. You have here and then you have there. So, again, that is the R, X, and then you have here the R is A. So, para makuha mo yung pinaka shear force sa kanya, kukunin mo yung pinaka resultant ng dalawa, which is R. Okay? Ngayon, meron na akong uh, force that is negative 2,000. Kung titignan natin ito, no? yung answer natin kanina. So, yung I na yan, that is parallel dun sa X. So, ibig sabihin, yun na yung Rx mo. So, that is negative 2,800. Okay? Now, meron ka na ring J, perpendicular sa Y. So, ito na yung Ry mo. And then, this is the Rz, which is 3,000. Okay? So, by looking at just the components or the vector form of the R, yung ating com normal component, ito na agad, ano? So, you can have that. Okay? So, normal component is equals to Ry, which is 1,600 of J. For the shear component or parallel, parallel dun sa plane of the cross section, that is the Rx and then the Rz. Okay? Pagsasamahin natin silang dalawa. Pero again, hindi pag pinagsama, no? Ibig sabihin, hindi po siya um, typical na additive kasi nga may direction sila. So, ang pwede mong gawin doon is you take actually the resultant by square root of 2,800. So, yung pinaka-share mo dyan, ah, yan na natin. Ah, walang back. Okay. So, yung B mo dyan, that is square root of Rx squared plus Rz squared. Okay? So, yun yung pagkuha ng resultant. Ano? Take note that that is a vector. Ibig sabihin, may direction sila. So, hindi sila directly additive. Okay? Doing so, you can now solve for the shear 4,103.66 pounds. So, this is now the answer for the letter B. Okay? Next, <coughs> for the letter C. Okay? Resolve CR into component of twisting component T. Twisting and bending moment. Okay? Ulitin natin. So, this time, meron ka namang moment. So, ibig sabihin, you have here dalawa, no? So, again, meron ka sa X. Okay? Ano ba yung nakuha natin kanina? Oops. Uh, moment. So, may nakuha tayong moment kanina. Ayun. So, negative yung X, positive, and negative yung sa A. Okay? Negative yung X. Positive yung Y. And then, negative yung sa A. Ayan. Puro pag ganyan siya, no? Okay. Check natin. Ano ba yung twisting component? Yung twisting component, kung ito yung shaft mo, siya yung magtitwist dun sa pinaka-shaft uh, pinaka mo, no? So, pag ganun siya. Okay? So, it means, iyon yung moment parallel dun sa longitudinal cross-section mo ng shaft. This time, ito po yun, yung Y mo, no? So, imagine, iyon yung Y mo by right thumb rule. So, pupunta pa ganun and then, i-rotate mo. Okay? So, by just having the twisting, Okay, by having the components of the CR, yung twisting natin, yun na kagad yung inyong CRY. Okay? Which is 1,566.67. Okay. Now, yung bending, ayan, parang binabali, ano? For example, again, ito yung shaft mo. Tapos, ito naman yung X mo, no? So, ayan yung X mo. Babaliin mo ng pag yung pinaka-shaft mo. And then, sa Z naman, ito yung Z mo. pag yung moment mo. Babaliin mo naman ng pag -ano. Lateral, ano? So, yung X, pababa. Yung Z, patagilid. Okay? So, so that, again, dalawa yung bending mo. So, you have here the bending sa X at bending sa Z. Pwede natin silang ipag-add. Okay? Actually, the answer would be this one. Yung natitirang um, bending nung, uh, yung components ng ating couple. Okay? Pwede natin ulit silang kunin yung resultant by square root ng I component squared plus the K component squared. Okay? Or that is equal again 
you can have it as CRX squared plus CRZ squared. Okay, palagi naman ganyan na, no? So, now we can have the bending equals to 3,070.87 pound feet. Okay? Yan po yung 2.91. Okay? So, again, ang mahalaga dito, maintindihan nyo yung normal and then kung ano yung shear. Okay, yung shear just is parallel, no? So, kung may normal ka, you have the parallel. So, since uh, ito is parallel, uh, orthogonal dun sa ating uh, normal, then those are the shear forces. Okay? So, lagay natin, shear is orthogonal. Or, ay, orthogonal to normal component. Okay po. So that is the 2.91. Okay. So let's have the 2.93. So if you have question, just um, post it on our MS Teams and I will answer your question. So 2.93. Replace the force and the couple shown by an equivalent force couple system with the force acting una at point A and then pangalawa at point Ah, sorry. Una at point B at ang pangalawa ay at point B. Okay. So, ayan. Isang force and then isang couple. Okay. So, yung resultant natin Iyon na yun. Kung ano yung itik newton nyo, kailangan lang naka-vector form. Ililipat lang natin siya dito sa point B na to. Okay? So again, that is equal to 80 newton. Pero kailangan alam natin yung vector form. So that is B minus A. So meron na rin siyang coordinates. So what we can do is to have it RAB. So RAB natin is negative 1.8 of I plus 0J plus 0 0.9 of K. You take the unit vector, magkakalimutan, kailangan na unit vector yan, tsaka mo siya i-multiply by 80 newton, so that you can get the force F equals to 71.55i negative plus 0j plus 35.78 of k. Iyan na po yung inyong resultant actually. Ano? So now, kunin naman natin yung couple. So, yung couple natin, which is the 250 newton, ilalagay din natin siya into vector form. So, pag nilagay natin siya sa vector form, it runs from A to D. So, pwede natin kunin yung position vector AD. Okay? So, the position vector AD would become equal to negative 1.8 of I plus 1.3 of J plus 0 K. Again, you take the unit vector, tsaka nyo siya i-multiply sa 250 newton meter para makuha nyo yung vector form ng couple. So, that is negative 202.67 of I plus 146.37 of J plus 0 K. So, iyan po yung kanyang couple. Okay? Now, for letter A tayo, since we are um, asking for point B, so, sabi ko nga kanina, kung ano yung F mo, yun na yun yung R mo. Kasi isa lang naman yung force mo. Okay? Again, kapag meron pang ibang forces yan, you need to add all the forces to get the result done. Okay? So, that's it for the result done. Pagdating naman sa CR, okay? Take note na at point B, okay? Walang, uh, yung point B natin, yung 80 Newton, tumatama sa point B. So, therefore, wala kang moment dun sa point B due to force 80 newton pero kailangan nating i-add yung 250 newton couple okay so it means yung resultant couple natin it's just equal to C okay ano yun so dapat yun um, summation of force of moment ano about point B so dapat yun equals to R A B and then cross product of F and then, tsaka natin i-add yung C. Okay? Kaya lang, wala kang moment. Okay? Kahit isolve niyan, wala yung moment. Zero. Kaya ang matitira na lang yung CR natin is just the couple C. Okay po? <coughs> just. Now, let's have the point D. 
Ito naman yung point D ko. Okay? So, point D, so, to get same lang yung resultant, ano? So, walang, walang pinagbago, you can get for the resultant of B. Yun pa rin siya. Ngayon, may moment na. Ito yung point D ko, so may moment na yung force F ko, which is 80 Newton. So, I need to get a position vector. So, unahin ko na ang ginawa ko, so RDA. Pumunta ako sa A, at saka ako nag-moment. Okay? So, kunin muna natin position vector DA. So, you can have it 1.8 of I minus 1.3 of J plus 0 K. Pag nakuha mo na si DA, i-cross product natin yan kay force 80 Newton. Okay? So, you can solve for that using the calculator. no So, so RDA cross product of F, that is negative 46 0.514 of I minus 64.14 of J minus 93.01 of A. A. Now, para makuha natin yung couple resultant, parang ginawa natin ng una, dapat kukunin din natin yung moment ng point, ng force F to point D. At saka natin iya-add lahat ng free vectors which is the couples. Okay? So, you have the CR equals to C plus RDA cross product of F. Doing so, you can now have this negative 249.18 of I plus 82.23 of J minus 93.01 of K. Okay? Medyo shortcut na yung solution sa no kasi unang-una kaya natin dinamihan yung problems sa mga previous chapters is for you to master how to write it on the vector form, how to add, and how to cross product. Okay? So, sa ngayon, gagamitin na natin yung knowledge na yon sa pagsasolve ng mga problems. It means, ang mahalaga sa atin, as of now, hanggang sa mga susunod na topics, is the analysis. Okay? Dapat matutunan nyo paano mag-analyze ng problems at maintindihan yung mga different types of problems. Okay po? So, that's it for the couple resultant system. So, ang, ang idea to summarize, we have the resultant forces. Ang gagawin natin doon, and you have the couples. Ang gagawin natin doon, nililipat natin to other points. So, pag nilipat natin to other points, yung force mo doon, yun na yung resultant mo. Pero, you need to take the moment at that point na nilipatan mo to get the resultant couple. And then, you add the free vectors couple to solve for the resultant couple. Okay po? So that's it for our, I guess that's still chapter 2, no? So that is the chapter 2. Okay? So we will now move to the next topic which is the resultant. The resultant, palagi naman natin siyang ginagawa. Okay? Kaya lang ngayon pagsasamasamahin na natin. We have the concurrent forces, we have the coplanar forces, we have the parallel forces, okay? And we have the three-dimensional forces and couples. Okay, po. Okay, so let's now have the result. Okay, so chapter 3 on our book. Yan, pangatlong chapter pa lang tayo, pang ilang weeks na natin to. Okay? So, for the resultant, okay, ang ginagawa natin, reduction of force system to a force and a couple. Yan yung ginawa natin nung nakaraalas ngayon lang, okay, on the previous video. So, sinam natin lahat ng forces and then sinam natin lahat ng moments so that we could produce a couple. Okay po? So, for example, ayan. So, I have here the force F1, F2, and then F3. Okay? So, kukunin natin yung kanyang resultant force and couple about the point O. Okay? So, ngayon, parang ganito ginawa natin. No? Inilipat natin yung force F sa point O, point F2 sa point O, and force F3 sa point O. Okay? Kaya lang, dun sa unang figure, on this figure, look at this figure, wala ka namang couple dyan, ano? Pero, dahil, okay, nilipat natin yung forces, nagkakaroon tayo ng couple. So, Again, kapag naglipat ka ng force from a one point to another, para maging equivalent sila, they will have the couple or the moment. So, kaya nagkaroon ng 
C1, C2, and then C3. Okay? So, kapag pinagsama-sama daw natin, okay? Kasi lahat naman yan vectors, F1, F2, and F3, pinagsama-sama natin siya, pwede natin siyang tawaging resultant R. Okay? F1 plus F2 plus F3. Ganon din yung couple. No? So, we can have C1 plus C2 plus C3. So, you can have it, the couple. So, Marireduce natin lahat ng forces, okay, and couples doon sa isang system by just adding them, putting them on one point, and then taking the moments to solve for the CR. Okay? So, ang ginawa doon, yung R natin, F1 plus F2 plus F3, or kahit ilang forces pa yan. In short, that is equal to summation of forces. And then, as well as for the couple resultant, C1, plus C2 or R1 cross product of F1 that is C1 and then you can have R2 cross product of F2 that is C2 R3 cross product of F3 that is C3 and so on okay so ganun lang on the Rx that's just summation of forces of X Ry summation forces of Y Rz summation forces of Z I, J, and K yun lang yun So, pag a natin lahat ng I, pag a natin lahat ng J, pag a mo lahat ng K. So, you can have that resultant Rx, Ry, Rz. Same thing with the couple. So, you can have the CRX. Pag a mo lahat ng I component ng couples. CRY, lahat ng J component ng couples. And CRZ, lahat ng K component of couples. Okay po? So, let's have yung sample problem na nandun sa book. The four system acting on structural member consists of a couple C and the forces F1, F2, and then F3. Determine the equivalent force couple system with the force acting at point G. Okay? So, dito doon natin ilalagay. Okay? So, what we do, okay, We take the, of course, the vector form of each forces. So we can have F1, 100 lambda A, B. Okay, so ito yung ating F1 from A, papunta ganun. So you can have there the B. So kailangan mo yung R, A, B. So, and then you can have the resultant A, B. Writing it in vector form, inasilipro din natin. So, that is, RAB natin is negative 4i minus 6j plus 3k. And then, divide by its resultant, so you can get the F1 equals to negative 51.22i minus 76.82j plus 38.41k in pounds. Yung F2 natin, that is directly on the x-axis. So, it means meron lang siyang i component. Wala siyang j, wala siyang k. So, napakadali lang nun. That is 90i. And it stores the positive axis so you can have a positive 90i. How about the F3? The F3 is parallel to the positive y direction. So, it means wala kang x, wala kang z. Meron ka lang positive y or positive j. So, you can have 120 of j. So, after that, Pwede natin kunin yung vector form also ng couple. So, yung vector form ng couple, that is from B to G. Pag anon, ano? So, you, you, you check the rotation, yung couple. So, hindi siya pataas. Okay, hindi siya G to B. That is from B to G. So, that is the unit vector. Okay? So, going back, that is the position vector BG over the resultant BG para makakuha ka ng unit vector. Okay? Doing so, yung 200, i-multiply natin dyan. So, 4i minus 3k, wala ka kasing j. So, you can have the couple in the form 160i minus 120k. So, lahat to, yung, yung processes na to, paulit-ulit natin ginagawa. Okay? So, I hope by now, alam na natin magsulat ng vector form. Kasi kapag hindi, we will be having very hard time in solving problems on the statics. Okay po? So, dapat matutunan nyo siya. Okay. What's next? We take the resultant. So, kasi hindi lang, 
nung mga nauna, isa lang yung force natin eh. Ngayon, marami na. So we just take the result that F1, F2, F3. To get that, we just sum all the i component, sum all the j component, and sum all the k component. Okay? So, ayan, yung F1 natin plus F2 and F3. So you can have the result that 38.78 of i plus 43.18 of j and 34.41 of k. Alright? Next. Kung papansinin din natin, okay, kung magbo-moment ako at point G, okay, dito, at point G, ano, wala na yung F3 ko, okay, wala nang effect yun, in short, no, kasi tumama siya sa point G. So, meron na lang akong moment yung F2 and F1, okay? They are concurrent forces. So, sabi natin, di ba, pag concurrent forces, pwede natin siyang ilagay into single force pag aadin natin sila at yung point of application niya kung saan sila nagtama at that is at point B okay so kaya pinag-add natin si F1 tsaka si F2 to get the resultant of the two forces so we can have 38.78 of I minus 78 point so in short lagay natin dito meron ka ditong Fx And then, meron ka dito ang FY. Ayan. And then, meron ka dong FZ. Okay? So, iyan yung inyong resultant ng F1 and then F2. Okay? Kailangan natin siyang makuha yung moment. Okay? Kasi para makuha natin yung pinaka-resultant couple, kailangan makuha natin yung moment ng F1 and F2. Or the resultant. Tsaka natin iaad yung couple. Okay? So, again, this one is the moment of F2 and then F1 about the point G. Okay? And then yung C, ito yon yung nakuha natin na C na to. Okay? So, kailangan natin RGB. So, yung RGB natin, it's negative 4i plus 3j plus 0k. So, ito po yun. Alright? So, i-cross product lang natin sila and then i-add natin yung couple. This one is the couple 160. Ayun. Alright? So, by performing the cross product, you can get the CR equals to 275 of I plus 153.6 of J plus 70.90 of K. Alright? Yun. That's already the answer for 3.1. So, again, ang resultant natin, ito po. Ito po. This is your answer. Arian. And then, ito naman yung ating CR. Okay? That is also the answer. Okay? <clears throat> okay, so let's have this problem, sample problem 3.2. The coplanar forces, force system in figure A consists of uh, three forces and one couple. Determine the equivalent force couple system with the force acting at point O. Okay. So, ayan, 2D lang to. Pero same lang din ang, ang ginagawa natin on the 3D. Ano? Okay. So, we will do the summation forces. No? So, sabi nga natin, uh, wait for a while. Ayan, zinom out ko lang. Okay. So, we do the summation forces X and Y. So, kapag coplanar forces po tayo, no? So, ang ginagawa lang natin, uh, again, in 2D. So, pwede ka nalang mag-summation forces vertical and horizontal. So, we do the summation forces vertical. Summation forces X. So, unahin natin yung 50. So, ito po, ano? So, you have your, the 50. And then, pag ganun siya, so you have that cosine of 40. And then, again, in natin to. Plus 90, it's because towards the positive x direction. And then, minus natin to because paganto yung kanyang um, horizontal component which is equal to 3 over 5 of 100. So, you get here 68.3 Newton. Okay? And then, summation forces vertical naman, meron lang tayong dalawa. So, ito, on the 50 Newton, meron kang pataas. So, that is positive 50 sine of 40. However, ito, pababa po ito, so you can have that as minus 4 over 5 of 100. So you get a vertical 
negative 47.86. It means downward siya. So, kung, kung ilalagay natin sa point O, kung ito yung point O mo, paganto yung aking X, which is 68.3, and then paganto yung aking Y, which is 47.86 Newton. Okay? So, after that, we will take, no? pwede na tayong mag-take ng moment. Okay? About uh, O. Okay? So, ayan, sinulat lang natin into vector form I and J. Okay? So, we can have here 83.4 Newton. So, ito po siya. Yan yung inyong 83.4 Newton. Okay? So, the angle between, so, inuna natin yung theta. So, ibig sabihin, ito po yung ating theta, no? So, nasa horizontal. Okay? So, you can have at 35 degrees. And then, we take the moment about point O. Okay? Kasi sabi natin, syempre, yung resultant natin, kung ilalagay natin dun sa point O, yung other forces or all the forces have the moments about the point O. So, counterclockwise ang gagamitin natin positive. So, ano-ano yung meron sa kanyang moment? So, itong, itong vertical component na to, itong horizontal component na to, at saka itong 90 newton. Itong 100 newton, wala na siyang moment dahil tumama siya sa mismong O. Okay? So, unahin natin yung vertical. So, 50 sin of 40, ang layo niya, ito po, 800. So, that is 0 0.8. Ayan. Okay? And then, yung horizontal, 50 cos 40, ang layo niya mula dito sa X ay 500. Ito po, ano? So, that is 0 0.5. And then, you can have the 90, ang layo niya is 600 mm or 0 0.6. Pero meron kang concentrated couple. Okay? Kung nasan man siya, that is a free vector, but it is clockwise, so you denote us as negative. Okay? So having so, you can have a resultant couple of 87.44. The negative sign denotes that the component, or sorry, that the resultant couple is acting clockwise manner. Okay? So, 87.4 newton meter clockwise. Okay po? So, ito yung itsura niya at point O. So, meron kang 68.3 na resultant X. Meron kang 47.9 na horizon, uh, vertical Y. Na downward, you have the uh, resultant 83.4 and you have the angle 35 degrees. And at point O, meron ka pang couple na 87.4. So, these two systems are equivalent. Ano? So, again, parang ginagawa lang natin, kinukuha lang natin equivalence ng system. Okay? So, that's it for sample 3.2. Okay? So, let's go to the practice problem 3.1. Determine which of these force systems in B through F are equivalent to the force couple system in A. So, as you can see, meron tayong... Figure A, so dapat equivalent yan. Okay? So, nahin natin yung letter B. So, ang gagawin natin para makuha natin yan, mag-moment na lang tayo sa point na to. Tawagin natin tong point A. Ano? Let's call that as our point A. So, for B, submission tayo ng point A. So, clockwise is negative, counterclockwise is positive. So, we'll take the moment here. Okay? So, nahin natin negative 10 Okay, multiplied by 5. Remember, this is 5 feet. Okay? And it will rotate in a clockwise direction. So that is equal to negative 50 pound. Okay? Ngayon, okay siya, no? So equivalent siya dito. 50 pound feet and it is counter plus. Check na lang natin ngayon yung kanyang resulta. Submission tayo ng forces horizontal. O, vertical, unahin natin. 10 pataas, minus 4 pababa. So, you can have it as 6 pounds. And then next, we can have it horizontal. Summation forces horizontal. So, the only uh, force we have is the 8 pounds. Okay? So, taking both, okay, the resultant of both. So, square root of 6 squared plus 8 squared. You can have the resultant 10 pounds. So, equivalent siya dito, we have the 10 pounds as well as you can have the moment okay pero you need to check ano so ito kasi yung yung slope po dapat nito okay 
yung slope po dapat niyan, you can have it as 4, 3, and then 5. Okay, so ibig sabihin, yung kanyang vertical component ng force is supposedly, pag dinivide mo, lahat sila same slope. Paano yun, sir? Example, I have here the vertical which is 10. And then, I ah, sorry, that's not 10. 6 and the horizontal component is 8. So, dapat, kapag sinimplest form mo sila, okay, divide natin both sides by 2. So, pag dinivide ko by 2, this is 3 and this is 4. So, parehas pa rin sila. So, if the slope of that is equivalent also to the system, and then the two systems are equivalent. So, A and B are equivalent systems. Kaya, may check. Okay po. Okay, so let's have the problem letter C. So, check natin ano? Yun. So, dito pa lang, hindi na tumatama. Tama na may 50 pounds siya, no? So, tama na may 50 pounds siya. Tapos, ang slope niya is still 4 and then 3. Walang problema. Kaya lang, dito siya tumatama. Okay? Ngayon, kapag ka dito tayo nag-moment, Ito may vertical component pa yan. Magkikreate pa yan ng another moment. So, itong 15 pound feet, mag a pa siya ng moment. So, they will not now equivalent. Or, sa madaling salita, equal naman yung 10 natin, equal naman yung 50 natin, kaya lang, hindi tumatama sa point A yung ating system. Therefore, hindi siya equivalent. Okay? Ganun lang kadali. Kapag equal na yung resultant, equal na yung moment natin, pati yung slope ng ating force, pero they are not acting on the same point, and then they are not equivalent. Okay po? So, let's try letter D. Okay? So, summation tayo ng moment at A. So, again, you can have it A. Positive yon, it will rotate counterclockwise. And then multiply natin, ito is 3 feet. So that is 8 times 3. And then you have here the 10 pounds. And then meron ka ditong 5 feet. Okay? And then you can have here 24 concentrated. So that is negative because it is clockwise. Okay? So you have the moment sakto, negative 50 pound feet. Ngayon, i-check naman natin summation forces. No? So summation forces vertical, we have 10 minus 4. So, you have 6. And then, summation forces horizontal, you have 8. Okay? So, if i-divide natin by 2, ang vertical niya ay 3, at ang horizontal niya ay 4. So, they have the same slope. So, therefore, we have an equivalent system. Okay? And for letter E, so let's try letter E. Summation moment tayo ulit dito about this point. Okay. So, unahin natin yung 8 pounds. Again, so you have here the 8 pounds times 3. And then, ima-minus natin to kasi it will induce a clockwise direction. Times 5. I-add natin yung 36. Ito. It's because it is a counterclockwise. Pero, ima-minus naman natin yung 80 because it is clockwise mana. So, you have there negative 50 pounds. Okay? So, okay siya, no? Check naman natin ngayon yung kanyang uh, vertical. Okay? Uh, and kanyang horizontal. So, summation tayo ng forces vertical. 6 pounds. Okay? And then, horizontal is 8 pounds. Tama naman. Wala ng ibang forces. So, therefore, they are equivalent. Okay? So, parehas sila dun sa point ng A. And then lastly, F. Okay? So, dito pa lang sa F, pag nag-moment tayo at this point, okay, let's take a moment on that point. So, you have negative 5 times 5. Wala nang ibang forces. So, you have negative 25. So, hindi na kagad na dun pa lang. Hindi na siya equivalent because our system has negative 50 pounds. Okay? So, that's for 3.1. Okay po? You may post the video so you can um, study and reflect. Okay. So, let's move on with the problem 3.3. Okay. 
two forces and a couple acting on the beam are equivalent to a single force acting at C. Okay? Determine the distance B that locates point C. Okay? So, ito parang ap application ko ng Varignon's theorem. No? Pag sinabi natin Varignon's theorem, okay, balik ko Varignon's theorem. It states that, okay, the sum of the moments of all the forces is equivalent to the moment of its resultant. Okay? So, kung maga, si 36 kilonewton meter, may moment yun about point C. Si 20 kilonewton meter, may moment yun about point C. Tapos, iaad mo si 94 kilonewton meter. Equivalent daw yun sa isang single force na resultant, kaya lang acting at a certain point on the beam. Okay, let's try. So, una, I will take the moment about point A. Okay? So, take natin lahat ng external forces. Okay? So, wala pang resultant na moment pa lang tayo due to 36 kilonewton meet, kilonewton, 20 kilonewton, and the couple of 94 kilonewton meter. So, let's have it. Summation forces A, 36 times 2 meters plus 20 times 2 plus 3 meters or 5 meters, and then plus 94. So, you have here 266 kilonewton meter. Okay? Now, summation tayo ng forces vertical para makuha natin yung resultant. So, summation forces vertical, you can have only 36 plus 20, or that's 56 kilonewton. Ngayon, dapat, yung 266 kilonewton na yan, at a certain point on the beam, nandito daw kasi yung resultant mo, which is equals to, ilan po ito? 56 kilonewton, ano? Okay? So, dapat yung moment na makikreate niya at point A, the same as 266. So, that's why you can have 266 is equals to 56, and then mo multiply natin by a certain distance B. So, again, that's a Varignon's theorem. Varignon's theorem, Varignon's theorem. So, the sum of all the moments of all the forces is equivalent to the sum of the moments of the resultant. Ito po yung moment ng resultant. Ano? Moment of resultant. Okay? So, dapat at point A, same lang sila ng create na moment. Okay? So, with that, you can now solve for letter B. 4.75 meters. Okay po. So, ulitin ko, no? So, ang ginawa po natin dyan, dapat yung single force arm mo, makikreate niyang moment at point A is equivalent to the sum of the moments at point A ng lahat ng applied na loads. Okay? So, sige po. Reflect on the problem and we'll continue with the next one. So we have 3.5. Replace the three forces with an equivalent force couple system with the force acting at point O. Okay, dito ano. So again, ang solution natin, we first determine the resultant. Okay, so magsa summation forces muna tayo. Okay, summation tayo ng forces vertical. So we can have here. Uh, 400 newton upward. So, you can have 400 newton. And then, i-add natin yung vertical component po nito. So, ang vertical component nito is ito yung 8 and then over the hypotenuse. No? 8 over square root of 73 multiplied by 600. So, you can get 961.80 J. Okay, or in the y direction. Next, you can have summation forces horizontal. So, meron kang 300 newton to the right because on the positive x-axis. And then, meron ka rin ditong force. Again, ito naman, 3 all over square root of 73. So, you can get now the x which is 89.33 of i. So, pareha silang positive. Okay? So, ngayon, with that, pwede tayo ngayon mag-moment naman at point O. Okay? So, yung answer natin dito, yung resultant niya, pagsasamahin mo lang yung i at saka yung j. 
So you can have 89.33 of I plus 961.80 of J. So take naman tayo ngayon ng moment about point O. Okay, isa-isay natin. So again, we can have from here 400 Newton and then you multiply it by 300 mm. Gawin mo ng 0.3 para magiging meters. So again, it will rotate counterclockwise kaya positive. Next, yung 300 Newton naman, it will rotate clockwise so you can have here negative. And its distance is 200 mm or 0 0.2 meters. Next, we can have the vertical component ito. 600 yung vertical niya na no. So you can have 8 over square root of 73 of 600 and its distance is this 150 or that's 0.15. Next, you can have the horizontal. Ito yung horizontal natin. Okay? So, you can have it as 3 over square root of 73 of 600. And its distance mula dito hanggang doon. So, that's 200 by 200, 400 mm or 0 0.4 meters. So, the moment on that is 228.54. Okay? So, the answer... Okay, the force is R, and then the CR, or the resultant mo, uh, moment, or resultant couple is to 28.54 newton meter. It means it is on the counterclockwise direction. Okay po. So that's it for 3.5. Next, we can have the 3.7. So again, these are parallel force system, okay? So the three forces are perpendicular to the triangular plate. Find the equivalent force couple system with force acting at point O. Okay, yun. So ang gagawin natin dito, kunin muna natin resultant, no? So yun yung unang sagot eh. So we can have it as summation forces vertical, 20 plus 40 plus 50, or that's just 110 of K. Okay? Now, how about the CR? So, ang gawin mo, pwede ang, uh, we, we can do, we take the moment of 20 kN about O and 50 kN about O. Okay? So, ganito na lang gawin natin. Okay? At point O, yung axis na magpapaikot sa X, ang meron lang naman is the 50 kN. Times 4, and it will rotate on the right thumb ruler, on the positive, so that's just equals to positive 50 times 4. Again, that is already the mx. And for the my, ito itong force na 20 kN, papaikuti niya ng pagganon yung y-axis mo. Kaya lang, that is on the negative direction, so that should be negative 20 times 3 of j. So, sometimes, mas madali yung scalar method kesa vector method, no? Kaya lang, kailangan maintindihan nyo yung sa right thumb rule. Okay? So, that's 50 times 4i minus 20 times 3j. Wala ka ng 0k, no? Kasi all of them are parallel to the axis. Okay? So, yan na yung sagot. Yung CR natin. Okay? So, that's it for 3.7. Okay? Okay? So, let's have now the problem 3.9. Okay? So, when three forces, when the three forces acting on the quarter circular plate are replaced by an equivalent force couple system with the force acting at B, the resultant couple is zero. Determine P and the angle theta. Okay. Pag sinabi kong quarter circular plate, okay, one-fourth ng circle, okay? So, ibig sabihin, circle yan, no? Buo yung circle. Okay, buo yung circle. Ayan. Okay, kaso, one point lang. Okay? Ngayon, sabi niya, kapag daw ni-replace yung lahat ng forces na yan, at this point, D, wala ka daw ko po. Ibig sabihin, the moment simply, the moment at point D is zero. Okay? So, summation muna tayo ng moment about the x, okay? So, ito yung kanyang ano, no? Uh, ito yung kanyang axis, okay? So, kapag ganito, yung magpapaikot sa kanya ng positive x. 
ano-anong force ang magpapaikos sa kanya? Lahat. Okay? So, unahin natin itong P. Okay? Yung P, papaikotin siya on the positive direction. At yung distance niya na to, hope, this is also 6 dahil radius yan, ano? So, 60 sine of theta. Okay? So, you have there the 60, 6 sine of theta. Okay? The 240, papaikotin din niya yung aking x direction. Kaya lang, it doesn't follow the right number. Pabaliktad. Kaya po siya minus. Okay? Ano yung distance niya? Again, yung distance niya, ito pa rin. Okay? That 6 sine of theta. Next, the 200 pounds. Ayun. Kung i-compare na, i-extend ko yan, papaikuti niya ng pag-anun. So still, it is a positive. That's why you have there the positive. And then the distance, if this is, sabi natin, yung part daw na to, hop, ayan, yung part na yan, that is the 6 sine of theta. And then itong part na to, hanggang doon, Siyempre, kung 6 to, dito is 6 minus 6 sine of theta. Ito po yan. So, sabi doon, equals to 0. Kasi dapat nga, ang moment doon ay 0. That is equation 1. Okay? Sinimplify lang natin. So, ang ginawa ko is pinagsama-sama ko lahat ng my sine of theta. Okay? <coughs> so, ito, Yung 200 times 6 equals 1,200. Inilipat sa abila. Ito po yun. Okay? So, itong 200 times 6, ito naman 1,200. So, ito yung 6P. Okay? 240 times 6, ito po yung 114. Okay? So, 200 times 6, ito po yung 1,200. Okay? That's the equation 1. Next, summation tayo ng moment at y. Wala tayong moment sa z, ha? Kasi lahat ng forces natin ay parallel sa z. Okay? So, papaikuti naman dapat to, no? So, if you have here the right thumb rule, papaikutin po natin ng pag -anun. Okay? So, ano-anong forces ang meron sa kanya? So, unahin natin si 200. Okay? So, ang lying nga mula dito, eto naman, eto. Eto yung triangle natin, ano? Okay, 90 degree yan. So, that is the 6 cosine of theta. Okay? Kung baga, pag tinignan ko sa top view yan, okay, pag tinignan natin sa top view, no? So, eto po si point O. Eto daw si Y. Eto si X. Tapos, eto yung quarter circle mo. Ayan. Tapos, eto daw yung point D. Okay? Tapos, eto yung ating theta. Okay? So, ayun. Eto yung distance ng 6 cosine of theta. Okay? So, that is this one. Next. The P, okay, itong P natin, okay, magro-rotate din siya sa Y direction, kaya lang, hindi na following the right thumb rule. So, that is minus, no? Kasi, pag-counter, okay, pag, pag ano naman siya, okay, so, pag ano siya, pabaliktad, okay? Kaya siya, pag minus Okay? And then again, it's distance, same pa rin kasi magkalinya lang naman yan eh. So, ito pa rin yung layo niya. No? Yan, itong, itong line na to. Okay? So, next is 240. Okay? Again, ayan, nandyan siya eh, no? So, meron siyang may maliit. Ito. Ayan, may maliit yan. So, that is 6 minus 6 cosine of theta. Okay? Kasi yung buo, kumbaga ito, itong buo na to, this is 6 Pero ito is 6 mula dito hanggang doon. Again, 6 cosine of theta. Kaya yung matitira, that is 6 minus 6 cosine of theta. Again, yung moment niya is 0. Okay? So, simplifying so you can have this equation. So, sa nakuha yan, again, we can have it as negative, okay, itong negative 240 times 6. Ito. Okay, 1440 yan. Nilipat sa kabila eto yung kinalabasan. Okay? And the next, negative, ah, ito muna, 200 times 6, so that is 1,200. P times negative 6, so you have negative 6P. Negative 240 times negative 6, positive 1440, and then cosine of theta. Equation 2. 
Okay? So, from equation 1, okay, galing dito sa equation 1, okay, anong ginawa? From equation 1, kumuha ako ng value ng 6p. So, paano ko ginawa yun? I-divide ko muna both sides by sine of theta. Ito yun. Okay? And then, itong dalawa pinagsama ko, that's 2,640. Negative. Inilipat sa kabila, so you have 2,640 minus 1,200 all over sine of theta. And then, ang gagawin natin, itong 6p, isa substitute natin dun sa equation 2. We can substitute that to equation 2. Given, you can have it as 2,640, okay? And then, minus 1,200 all over sine of theta is equal to 1,440. Okay? So, yan. 2,640 ito. Pag pinagsama ko itong 1,200, tsaka 1,440. So, you can have there as this one, 2,640. Okay? And then, minus 6p. Pero ito yung 6p natin, ano? Okay, ito yung 6p. Okay? I guess, uh, there's, uh, may kulang dito. Hindi ko na, na, na isama, no? So, it should be still 2,640. Ilagay na natin. 2,640 minus the 6p, which is 2,640 minus 1,200 all over sine of theta. Okay? And then, uh, you can have here the cosine of theta is equals to 1440. Okay? So, isa na lang yung wala. You can only have the theta. The theta is equals to, so let me calculate. 2640 minus 1200 over sine of x. Then cosine of x equals to 1440. So that's equal to, okay, let's wait. Okay, hindi ko na isama. So ito dapat meron pa tong cosine of theta, no? So there should be cosine of theta on that. Okay? So let's wait. So the answer is 39.81 degrees. Okay? So after sub, uh, after getting this theta, we can now substitute that on this equation. So you can now have the value of p. So 6p is equals to 2640 minus 1200 over sine of 39.81. So you can now have the p equal to 6p. 2640 minus 1200 over sine of 39.81. Okay? So, yeah. So, you can have 127.62 pounds. Okay? So, that's it for the problem 3.9. <clears throat> okay? So, let's have the problem. 3.11 okay. So worker applies the force P equals to negative 10I plus 8J pounds and Q equals to 10I pounds to the hand grips of the electric drill. These forces are equivalent to the force R equals to 8J pounds acting at the tip of the drill and a couple CR equals to negative 120 pound each. Determine dimensions A and B. Okay? So, ngayon, ang gagawin natin from point O. Okay? Oops, where's my pencil? From this point O, okay, pupunta ako sa A. Okay? And then, magmo-moment ako about that point. Okay? So, now, we can have the ROA equals to AI plus 0J plus 0K. Kailangan ko kasi makuha yung moment ng P about point A. Okay ba yun? And then mamaya, yung uh, moment naman ng Q about point O. Okay? 
Next. The question is, uh, ito pala question ng bakit sa point O ako kumuha? Bakit hindi dito sa P? Okay. Una, as long as yung aking R, pag in-extend mo siya, sabi nga natin, kahit saan ka kumuha ng point dun, okay lang. Kasi wala ka namang moment dun ng result. As long as that is on the line of action of the resultant. And ito namang si R, uh, about uh, point yung CR natin, free vector naman siya. Okay, ibig sabihin, kahit saan siya nakalagay, iaad lang naman yun. Okay? So, pwede yung point O. Actually, pwede rin dito. Kahit saan, pwede, no? As long as it is on the line of action of R. And then again, you can have it the force P. Meron na tayong force P. Okay? So, we do the method of cross product this time. We cannot do the calculator dahil naka-variable siya. Okay? So, simplifying with this, so, 0 sa i, 0 sa j, 8a sa k, minus pabaliktad, okay? Ito, 0 sa i, may tinamaan, 8k. So, you have the 8k. 0, 0, and then 0. So, meron ka lang 8ak. Okay? Now, yung moment naman ng q about point o, so, kunin natin yung OB. Okay? So, ROB is 0i plus 8j minus bk. Okay? And then, we take the moment by having the cross product of ROB to the force Q. Okay? So, this time, meron tayong 0 and negative 10b. Okay? So, you have negative 10b and then 0. Pagdating dito, 0, 0, and then you can have it as 80k. So, you have negative 10b. Kaya lang positive mo minus. So, na minus, you can have that as 8, 8k. Sorry, that's uh, 8k. 80k. Okay. Sorry. Parang it should be 80k. Okay. 80k po yan. Okay. So, sabi niya, Yung resultant daw, okay? So, you can have it the moment CR, dapat kapag pinag add mo yung dalawang moment mo na yan, equal yan sa negative 120J. Okay? So, check natin on the 8J direction. So, for the J, ano? So, you can have negative 10B. Ayun. Okay? Dito, wala ka namang J. So, plus 0 equals sa 120. So, you can have the B equals to 12 inches. Okay? And then, for the A, you can now have... So, you can have 8A for the K. And then, plus... Ito is negative 80, no? So, negative 80. Okay? So, you can now have the A equals to... Ayan, 10 yan. 10 inches. So, A equals to... 10 inches. Okay? So, 80 po yun. 80K. Not just 80K. Okay? So, that's it for the problem 3.11. Let's have the problem 3.13. Replace the two forces and a couple acting on the bent rod ABC. So, ayan. Meron tayong bent rod na ABC as you can see. I-replace Re natin siya by force couple system acting at point C. So, dito daw natin ilalagay. Okay? Ngayon, ang pwede kong gawin, unang, I will take the vector form of the 100 Newton and 120. I will denote that as P1 and then P2. Unahin ko muna si P1. So, ang kanyang position vector is running from point B to point D. So, I have the position vector now equal to 0i plus 2j minus 2k. So, take the unit vector and then we can now have the force speed. Multiply it by 100. So, you can have 0i plus 70.71j minus 70.71k. Sunod naman natin si P2 that runs from point A to point B. So, you can now have RAD. Okay? Ah, RAB. 
Okay, unahin po lang natin ito, no? Itong 180 newton meter na couple. So, the trans from A to B. Okay? So, again, you take the unit vector of that, tsaka nyo siya i-multiply by 180. So, you will get the couple negative 108i plus 0j plus 144 of k. Lastly, we can now have the P2. So, the trans from A to D. So, I can have RAD. Take the unit vector of that. Multiply it by 120. So, you will get the vector forms negative 72i plus 96j plus 0k. Okay? Now, pwede kong kunin yung resultant ng P1 at saka ng P2 because they are concurrent here. Okay? So, ngayon, pag kinuha ko yung resultant nila, that's just P1 and then P2. So, meron na ako ngayon yung resultant. Nandito yon sa point na yon Somewhere here. Okay? So, that is negative. Somewhere here. Eh, let's say, nakaganyan. That's ako, no? Gusto ko siyang ilipat dito sa point C. So, I need to get the moment of that resultant from C to D. Okay? Kailangan ko makuha yung moment nito para makuha ko yung CR. Okay? So, I will now have run CD. Okay? So, that's 0i plus 0j minus 2k from C to D. And I will take the, the moment of force R or the resultant R with respect to the point C. So, that would be RCD cross product of the resultant. Okay? Isasama ko rin yung couple kasi meron akong free vector na 180. So, that is a uh, positive 180 degrees. Okay? So, eto yun. Eto, no? So, yung C na yan. Okay? So, cross product of that, meron na akong RCD, cross product nyo muna to, and then yung answer, i-add nyo to, so you will get now the CR. 225.42 of I plus 144 of J plus 144 of K. Okay po. So, again ha. So, huwag nyo kakalimutan to kapag nagmo-moment. Ito yung C na yan. I-add nyo po yan. Okay. So, again, paulit-ulit. The resultant, summation of forces. Pero, you need to take the moment dun sa point na paglilipatan. That would be the resultant couple. Okay po. One more. So, we can, then we can have 3.50. Okay? Replace the two forces and the couple with an equivalent force couple system with the force acting at point A. Note that the 6 newton meter couple lies in the plane OE. So, dito doon naglalaya, no? O, C, E, D. Ayan, siya naglalaya. Okay? So, it means kung titingnan ko, okay, kung titingnan ko ng pagano ano, kung titingnan ko ng pag-anyan, ito yun. Okay. Okay, tapos ito yung, ito yung Z mo, ito yung X mo. Okay? Yung force, yung couple na yun, ng pag, nakapag-anon. Okay? So, we need to take the resultant of that. Okay? Now, kailangan ilagay muna natin sa vector form lahat ng force. So, let's have the P1. So, P1 directed upward on the positive Z. So, automatic yun. Nasa K lang siya. So, you can have 0i plus 0j plus 14 of K. Okay? So, for the P2, okay, madali lang to, no? So, nandun naman siya sa XZ plane. So, meron lang siyang P2X and then meron lang siyang P2Z. So, ang P2X ko is P2 cosine of 35. So, you can have it as negative 20 cosine of 35 because it is directed on the negative axis. And then, you can have P2 sine of 35 or 20 sine of 35 of K kasi that is directed upward. Wala kang Y. Okay? Next. Ngayon, yung um, ating couple na 6 newton meter, eto, kailangan kong malaman yung unit vector dito. Okay? So, para makita ko yan, let's have this free body diagram. Okay? So, yan na yung R ko ha, pinag-add lang natin. So, let's have this free body diagram. So, ito yung naka-incline, itong, itong plane na to. 
Ayan yung naka-incline po ng 35 degrees. Okay? Ngayon, ang kailangan ko is the perpendicular dun sa plane na yon, Kasi dun siya naglalay. So, kung dun siya naglalay, it means its unit vector is perpendicular. Ito, perpendicular po dun sa plane. So, yung buo is 180. If this is 35, this is 90. So, the remaining would be 55. Or 180 minus 35 minus 90 you will get the 55 and as we can see yung kanyang x ay positive so you can have that as lambda x wala kang y pero meron kang z so lambda z this lambda x is just equals to cosine of 55 and this one is just equal to sine of 55 okay So, you can have it as cosine of 55i, and then you can have there as plus 0 plus sine of 55k. Okay? So, kapag meron nga na yan, imumultiply ko na lang yung unit vector ko na yan sa 6 newton meter na kopal. So, I can have the kopal 3.44 of i plus 0j plus 4.91 of k. Okay? So, ngayon. Kailangan ko na ngayon mag-moment at point C. Okay? So, to do that, ang gagawin ko, okay, I have this one. <coughs> Sorry. So, yung 3.44, okay, para sa I, ito na yun, i-add ko. Okay? And then next, I will have this 14, okay, at point with force, ah, sorry, dito pala nung acting at point A, okay? So, meron ka ditong x niya, and then y, and then z. Okay, kailangan lahat na magpapaikot on this direction, so that is a positive. So, si 40 newton, papaikutin niya by 0.25 meters. So, ito po yung 14 multiplied by 0.25, and it is positive. Okay? And then itong P2z, papaikutin din niya by same 0.25 So, yung P to Z natin, ito po yun, 20 sine of 35 and then multiply it by 0.25. And that is on the I direction. Okay? Now, ano naman yung mga forces na magpapaikot on this direction para sa Y ng point A? So, si 14 wala na kasi tatama siya dun sa mismong line ng Y. Okay? So, meron na lang ako, again, ito ulit P to Z. Okay? Wala rin naman akong couple on the j direction so meron lang kong p2z so that is 2 20 sine of 30 again it's distance, eto naman yung distance nya, so that's 0.3 yun lang meron so you have now the j how about the k okay, yung magpapaikot ng paganto, dun sa aking axis so, ang magpapaikot sa kanya again, meron kang 4.91 dito So, you can have the 4.91. Ito hindi niya papaikutin. Parallel yan sa Z. Parallel din sa Z. So, meron na lang ako ito. So, P2X. At ang distance niya mula doon ay 0.25. So, you have the X component, 20 cosine of 35. And its moment arm, 0.25 of A. Alright? So, with that, you can now have the answer. 9.81 of I plus 3.44 of J plus 9.01 of k. Okay? That's it on this resultant. Okay? So, again, yung resultant natin, ha, lagi yung compose ng resultant as well as the couple force. Okay? Kung inililipat po natin. Okay? But of course, sometimes the couple is zero. But uh, it means that the ZR is zero. But again, lagi yung force and then the couple. Sige po. Alright. So, we will now have, ayan, so that is actually the resultant of a general. Okay. Ngayon, punta tayo sa coplanar. So, again, madali lang to kapag coplanar, no? So, again, nakatudi lang tayo. So, let's have the resultant of coplanar force system. Okay. So, let's have the 3.17. Yung problem natin ng 3.17. Okay. 
Yan. So, meron daw values ng Rx, Ry, and then summation moment at certain point O. Okay, point O is the origin of the coordinate system. And positive moments are counterclockwise, determine the resultant for each force system, and show it on a sketch of the coordinate system. Unahin natin yung part 1. Okay, part 1. Wala ka daw X, pero meron kang Y, and then meron kang moment, which is on the clockwise direction. Okay? So, it means if wala kang X, meron ka lang um, almost vertical. Okay? At point O. Okay? Ngayon, ayan. Ito yung point O mo. Para mag-rotate siya, positive kasi, no? Para mag-rotate siya counterclockwise, yung 200 na RY mo, it should be on the right side. Kasi kapag nasa left side yan, it will now rotate it clockwise manner. So, magiging negative yung moment mo. Okay? So, that's why it is on the 200. And since sabi natin, the moment of point O is force times the distance, we can say that 400 newton meter is equals to 200 newton multiplied it by x. So, now we can solve for the x. So, it means... Yung 200 na resultant natin, it is lies 2 meters on the origin, to the right or to the x. Okay? So, ganun lang. Ito na yung pinaka-itsura niya. Let's try number 2. So, number 2, again, meron ka rin 0 and 200, kaya lang this time negative. Okay? So, parang letter number 1 lang, kaya lang it is now located on the left side. Okay, para mag-rotate siya clockwise kasi kailangan natin negative 400. Okay, so let's try. So that is part 2. Okay, so this time nandun siya sa left. Same pa rin, negative 400 divided by 200x. So you can now get the x is on negative 2 meters or on the left of the origin. Okay, dali lang ano. Okay, sige po. So let's try number Part 3. Okay. So, part 3, this time may X ka na, and then may Y ka na. May moment ka pa. So, ibig sabihin, basta nagkaroon ka ng moment, yung resultant mo, kasi pag, pag ganun siya, um, isang, isang pa to the right, isang to the right, and then isang paangat, so 300 at saka 400. Okay? So, hindi natin siya alam. So, hypothetically, pwedeng ang gawin mo, ilagay mo na muna siya kahit saan. So, siya inilagay niya dito. Okay? Diyan niya inilagay. May moment tayo na 600. Okay? Tapos, yung resultant natin, ito yung 300i plus 400j, or meron kang 500. Okay? So, sabi natin from point O, okay, from point O, kailangan mag-rotate yan counterclockwise kasi positive to. About 600. From the idea that the moment is equals to Ft, makukuha ko kagad yung perpendicular distance niya. So, that's M all over the F. So, ito po yun. Okay? I-divide nyo uh, 600 is equals 500D. So, you can have 1.2 of F. Ngayon, since naka-slant yung force natin, basta meron kang Rx and Ry, naka-slant yung force mo. Ngayon, hindi mo na lang alam, okay, um, Kung paganto yung force natin, ah, kung, kung paganto yung Rx and Ry natin, technically, yung resultant natin, leaning to the right, to the upper. Okay, saan ko ba siya ilalagay? Ilalagay ko ba siya dito? Kapag dito ko siya inilagay, at ito yung distance ko, it will now rotate clockwise. So, dito ko siya ilalagay on the right side, no? Para kapag nag-rotate siya, you can now have a negative, uh, a positive or counterclockwise. Okay? So, ito na yung location niya. Ngayon, hinahanap natin kung, saan na, kung nasan siya sa mismong partition plane. So, dito yung siya nilagay. Kinumponent natin siya doon. So, sabi nga natin, you can have it at 300, you can have it at 400. Kapag nag-moment ako at point O, dapat same pa rin yung effect. So, this time, itong 300 pounds, wala na itong moment about point O. Kasi tatama siya dun. Okay? So, ang meron na lang ako, 400. Which is 400 multiplied supposedly by x. So, you can have it as 600 is equals to 400x. 
So now, she can now have 1.5. Okay? Same thing, ang gagawin naman natin, dito naman natin siya, i-component. So that is 300, and this is 500. So ito naman yung walang moment sa kanya, kasi tumatama siya sa 0.0. So, ang meron na lang ako sa kanyang moment is the 300. At a distance, let's call that as a distance y. So, you can have equals to 600, 300 y. So, you can now have the value of y equals to 250. Okay? So, ito po yung location niya from point A to point B. Okay? So, na-draw na natin. So, that is on the uh, part 3. Let's have the part 4. So, part 4, ang given sa kanya, 400 newton to the right, and then 600 newton downward. So, paano siya? Pag ganyan, tsaka pag ganun. So, 600 and then 400. So, we expect na yung resultant niya is leaning to the right below. Okay? So, you can have that. So, yung resultant niya, eto na. Kinuha na natin. So, madali namang kunin yan. Same ng ginawa natin kanina, kailangan makuha natin yung perpendicular distance muna. So, meron ka namang moment, so you have negative 900 newton meter. It means, it should rotate clockwise. So, kung nandito yung P, kung nandito yung point O, okay, saan ko siya ilalagay? Should I place it here? Or should I place it there? Kapag dito ko siya plinase, it will rotate counterclockwise. Magiging positive yung moment. Kaso negative siya. Okay? So, we expect na yung force natin ay nandun. Okay? So, let's see. So, the distance, same thing. Negative 900 equals to the force which is 7 to 1.1 of t. Okay? Bakit nag-negative? Actually, kahit hindi nyo lagyan ng negative, okay? Ang, ang mahalaga naman sa atin is the distance itself, no? So, by logic, alam natin kung saan ilalagay yung force kasi it will rotate on the positive, okay? Okay, so you can have, oops, you can have the D. So, now, eto yung D po natin, ano? So, that is the 1.20. Ay, ano ba tanggalin to? Wait for a while. I, I'll remove the ink. Okay, ayan. So, that's the D equals to 1.248 meters. Okay? So, actually, kapag nakuha mo yan, pwede mong gawin yung kanina natin. Alamin mo, okay, you try to know kung nasan yung point na to and nasan yung point na yan. Okay? So, again, ang gagawin mo, you may just take the component here and take the component on the other side. So, you can get the X and you can get the Y. Okay po, maging mo yan. So, part 5, ayan. Wala kang forces. Meron ka lang moment. So, basically, kahit saan mo ilagay, no? kahit nandito pa yan, kahit nandito pa yan, kahit nasan pa yan, as long as it is a couple, so equivalent sila lahat. Okay? So, that's the sample problem 3.3. Let's have sample problem 3.4. The force R is the resultant of other three concurrent forces shown. Determine P and R. O, madali lang to. Concurrent, ano? Okay. So, what we do? Summation forces X. So, R cosine theta, dahil yan yung resultant, dapat equivalent yan. Okay? Nung lahat ng forces, which is P sine of theta, minus 80. So, I hope by now, naiintindihan po natin yung P sine of theta and minus 80. Okay? So, next, we can have summation forces vertical. So, again, yung resultant mo, eto po, equivalent siya sa component ng Y ng lahat ng forces. So, that's P cosine of 20 minus 100. Okay? Next, Solving simultaneously, meron kang equation 1, meron kang equation 2. You can solve for P and you can solve for R. Okay po. So, sige. Pati sa angle. Actually, yung angle given na. Yung P, eto, no? may 20 degrees siya. And then yung R. Okay. Nag-negative yung R. What does it mean? Yung direction mo po dito, 
baliktad yun. Dapat daw pa ganun siya. Kaya dito po sa sagot, pa ganito siya. Okay, again, you have the, the angle. Remember, this is parallel lines, cuts by transversal. So, you can have 30 degrees, ito, 30 degrees din. Okay? So, ayun po siya. So, that's it for our problem, 3.4. Okay? Okay, 3.5. Actually, this is a truss. So, we will deal more that soon on the analysis of trusses. So, pinapahanap lang ito, resultant of three forces acting on the gasset plate. Kapag ka concurrent forces, wala ka pong CR dyan. Ang CR mo dyan ay zero. Okay? If at that point, ha, at certain point A, kung saan yung kanyang point of concurrency. Okay? Pero kung ililipat mo yan to the other points, magkakaroon ka na ng moment. Okay? So, summation forces X and Y lang yan. Okay? So, nain natin to. Yung X niya pa ganito. So, you can have 4,000 cosine of 45. And the next... Yung 3,800, pag ganito naman yung kanyang X. So, pabaliktad. So, minus 3,800 cosine of 50. Yung 6,200, walang X component. Okay? So, you can have FX equals to 385.83 pounds. Now, for the Y, you can have the vertical 6,200 pounds. And then, ito, meron kang pababa. Ano? So, 4,000, meron kang pababa. So, minus 4,000 sine of 45. Ito rin meron ka rin pababa. So, minus 3,800 sine of 50. So, you can have 460.60 pounds. <clears throat> so, solving for the resultant, just square root of Rx squared plus Ry squared. So, you can have 600.85 pounds. Paano yung angle niya? No? So, check natin. Ano? So, yung x mo positive... And then, yung y mo positive, so, eto yung resultant mo. So, eto yung angle mo. Okay? So, lahat nakakabit sa horizontal. Okay? So, arc tangent of Ry or Fy all over Fx. So, you can get 50.05. Eto po yan. 50.05 degrees. Okay? So, somewhere dito rin. nag a din dito yan, no? At an angle... 50.05 degrees. Okay po. <clears throat> okay. So, let's have the 3.19. The overhead electric hoist C rides along a track on the horizontal beam AB. In addition to the 500 kilonewton force carried by the hoist, the beam also supports the three vertical forces shown. If a equals to uh, a if x equals to five meters, determine the resultant of four forces carried by the beam. Okay, manain muna natin yung a. Okay, so magsa summation tayo ng forces vertical muna. Okay, so we can have negative 300 pa baba, negative 500 pa baba, negative 120 pa baba, and negative 200 pa baba. So total, meron kang 1.120 kN. Okay, yun lang naman yung tanong, what is the resultant? So meron kang 1120 kN that is acting downward. B. Determine the distance x for which the resultant of the force would act at the center of the midspan A, B. Okay? So, sabi ko nga kanina, yung resultant niya, okay, um, summation ng moments ng lahat ng forces mo. So, I, I could say, na sabihin na natin, na nandito rin daw, okay, mag act din dyan, yung x mo na 1120 o yung force mo no? so that's 1120 times x is equals to 300 okay ito 300 times x and then you can have it as 120 8 plus 2 times 10 plus 200 times 8 plus 2 times 4 so you can have 14 and 500 again times 5 Okay, so yun yung uh, 
uh, unang tanong ano if x is equals to 5 okay so determine x for which the resultant of force would act at the center of the beam okay so at x ito kasi in assume natin ano sabi kasi if x is equals to 5 ngayon ang hinahanap yung 1 1 2 0 siya mag-act nagkataon lang na dalawa yung na parehas yung variable ano i think medyo may ano yung yung tanong okay so you can have 6.34 Okay, so doon daw mag act yung ating beam. Ah, yung ating force na 1, 1, 2, 2, 0. Okay po. Ah, okay. So, I think there's, ano no, uh, hanapin natin, if x is equals to 5, okay, baguhin natin, ano, if x is equals to 5, ah, hanapin natin kung nasan yung D. Okay, iyan yung 6.34, Okay that is the value actually of the d okay so kumbaga nandito yung yung r na 1 1 2 0 so okay yun yung distance niya mula dun sa a ha so yun yung d mo so 6.34 okay ngayon yung letter b okay yung letter b daw hanapin natin yung distance ng x para yung resultant mo daw nasa pinakagitna ng beam mo. So, paano equation natin doon? So, yung 1, 1, 2, 0 multiplied. Ano ba total? 2 plus 8. So, 10 plus 4, 17. So, 17 all over 2. Is equal to, you can have a 300 times 2 plus 120 times 10 plus 200 times 14. So, yung variable, yung 500 natin, ito, at a distance x. Ito yung pangalawang tanong ha, letter B. So yung letter yung x natin that's equal to 9.84 meters. Okay? So yung pangalawang tanong kapag daw yung resultant ay nag at the uh, center of the span AB. Ito po yung A and then B. So yung nasa gitna ng gitna niyan, kapag daw diyan nag yung ating resultant na 1120 nasan daw yung location ng 500 kN. Okay? So, magka-separate sila ng tanong, ha? Okay po. Okay. So, let's have this example problem. So, ayan. Ganun ulit. So, determine which of the following four system B through F are equivalent to 21 kN force in A. Okay. So, ang gagawin natin, pwede mong Pwede ka lang mag-moment, okay? So, magtitik lang tayo ng moment palagi. And then, iche-check natin kapag ka yung resultant niya tumatama sa A. Kapag tumatama sa A yung resultant niya, okay? So, it means equivalent na sila. Sample. Yung ating letter B, so 15, okay? Kung baga yan, pag nag-moment ka dyan, ang resultant kasi niyan ay ila 21 ano so ito from that somewhere here na 21 ito yung aking x okay so that is 21 x is equals to you can have 15 times 2.1 so you can have the value of x equals to 1.5 meters ibig sabihin dito tumatama yung 21 mo resultant then they are equivalent okay so, letter C. So, ganun din. No? So, ang resultant nilang dalawa, 6 and 15 is 21. So, again, this is 21x. Tapos, equals 2. Nag-moment lang ako dito, no? At this point. So, you can have 6 times 2.1. And then, meron kang add na 189. Okay? So, medyo malaki, no? So, 189 kN. So, so for x, 9.17. Hindi po siya equivalent. Okay. Letter D, ganun din. So, letter D, mag-summation forces, horizontal ka muna. Check natin. So, from here, that is 4 all over 5, multiplied by 10, minus horizontal component nito, 8 over 17 of 17, 0. So, ibig sabihin, wala kang horizontal. Okay. Check natin sa vertical. Summation natin forces vertical, 3 over 5 para dito sa 10. And then, ito naman is para sa 17. Oops, 21. Okay? So, ang resultant niya, vertical lang din, 21. 
Pero, let's try to find kung nasan yung value ng x. Okay? So, summation tayo ng moment dito. So, that is, again, this is, okay, I think this is 6, and then this is 8. Okay? So, that is 6 times 2.1. Ito is 2.1. Ito is 1.575. Okay? Minus 5.75 divided by the resultant. Kasi, naka 21x po. Yan ano. So, you can have it as 21x. Okay? Ilalagay natin ito. I-divide sa natin sa baba para makuha natin value ng x. So, 0. So, ibig sabihin, saan siya naglalay yung resultant mo? So, dito po siya naglalay. Okay? So, dyan po naglalay. Okay? So, wala kang wala kang distance. So, that is not equivalent. Okay? So, letter E. Yan. Kung mapansinin natin, 21 is acting na kagad dito. Okay? Pero pag sinamination mo ng horizontal by by just mere looking at it, zero yan. So, ibig sabihin dito na kagad, dapat yun somewhere here eh, sa point A. So, dun pa lang, hindi na siya equivalent. Okay? Ah! May moment ka nga pala. So, may moment ka nga pala. Which is 8 multiplied it by 1.575. Okay? So, moment tayo dito. Okay? So, you can have it as 21 times 2.1. Ito po yun. And then, ima-minus natin. Because of the 8 kilonewton, it will rotate clockwise direction. So, minus 8 times 1.571 over 21. Kasi ang resultant natin ay 21. So, you can have 1.5. Okay? So, um, that is equivalent. Okay? May apology for that. Couple nga pala siya. Okay? So, again, dito po kasi wala siyang couple. Okay? So, ito kasi nagka-couple siya. Although, horizontal is 0. But they produce a couple. So, dapat kapag nag-moment ka, isasama natin siya. Ayan, huwag kakalimutan ha. That is uh, one uh, nakakapang dito dun sa mga problem. Kapag naiiwan yung couple. Okay, malaki yung effect niya. Okay po. So, let's have it the problem. Letter F. Okay. So, for the F, again, okay, kunin lang din natin yung pinaka-moment. Okay, dito. So, meron akong moment ng 8. So, and then meron ako moment ng 15. So, 15 will make it positive times 2.1. Kasi 2.1 to. Pero itong 8 kN minus siya. Times 1.575. Okay. Okay. Itong force na to, walang moment yan. At saka itong force na to, wala rin moment. Okay. Again, meron ang concentrated na counterclockwise. So, you add 12.6. And you divide it by 21. You will get x is equal to... 1.5 meters. Okay? However, because of the presence of 8 kilonewton, kapag nag-summation forces horizontal ka, meron kang 8 to the right. So, it will not make it a vertical. Okay? Dun pa lang. Kasi dapat, dito sa, sa A, ang Rx mo dyan, 0. Since nagkaroon ka na ng Rx sa F, so they are not equivalent. Okay po. So that it that's it for 3.21. Okay? So let's have the 3.23. Determine the resultant of the force system acting on the beam. Yeah. So ayan may couple ulit tayo, no? So unay natin, syempre pwede ka mag-summation forces horizontal and vertical. X muna tayo. Zero. Okay, wala kang force. You don't have the zero. Uh, you don't have the x component. However, on the y component, meron ka. May 600 ka pataas at may 1,200 ka pababa. So, ang, horizon, uh, ang resultant mo daw ay 600 pounds downward. And then, I will take the moment, any point ha, pero ako pipila ko at point A na lang. Okay. So, mo moment at point A, counterclockwise is positive. So, 600 times the total length of the beam, which is 8.2 plus 5.5. So, you have 13.5. And then, ima-minus natin 1,200. 
And then multiply natin by the moment arm of 8.2. Ito yun, kung gaano kalayo. Okay, ayun kasi siya. Tapos, ito, i-add natin again, this is a couple. So, you can have that as negative because it will tend to rotate clockwise manner. So, 1,000 times 4.5. Okay? So, you have here the moment equals to negative 6,120 pound feet. Okay po? So, that's it. So, you can now have that result at. Okay, if you're going to locate that 600 pounds, okay, kasi yun yung ano natin, ano, so yung pinaka-result natin, sabihin na natin dito siya tumatama at 600 pounds. Okay, you need to find the value of X. Okay? So, dapat yung moment na na-create mo at point A, equal din siya dun sa pinaka-result mo. So, in short, if I have here negative 6,120, dapat equal yan sa negative 600 multiplied it by the x. So, that your x is equal to 6,120 divided by 600. 6,120 divided by 600. So, you can have it as 10.2 meters. Okay? So, it means yung result natin, it is acting at 10.2 meters from point A. Okay? So, ayan. Um, we need to find the location of the 600 force. Next. The resultant of the three forces is a force R passes through point B. Determine the R. Okay? So, pwede natin gawin. Sige, moment tayo dito. Okay. So, ito pwede natin niya i-component. No? So, we need to component that. Okay. So, moment at point B. So, nahin natin ito. 30.5. Positive siya with the moment arm of T. Ito po yun. Okay. And then, you can have this 36 pounds with the moment arm of 1.5. It will rotate clockwise manner, so that is negative 36 times 1.5. So, ito meron lang tong component na 5 all over 13, okay, of F. Ito ay may component na 12 over 13 of F. Ito po ay walang moment, no? Ako yung horizontal kasi tatama siya sa point B. So, meron lang akong 5 over 13 and it denotes at negative because it will create a counterclockwise. Again, its distance is 4 minus 1.5. So, from here hanggang doon, that is just 2.5. So, that's 2. Equal to 0. So, you can now solve for the value of F. Okay? <clears throat> Next, pukunin natin yung kanyang resultant. R. Okay? So, summation forces, vertical and horizontal lang po tayo. So, horizontal muna. So, meron lang akong horizontal component ng F. Okay, ito po yun. And then, meron akong pabaliktad na 30.5. Okay, so meron akong negative 66.5 on the X direction. For the Y direction, meron kang 36. Meron kang pababa na vertical component. Ito po yan. Okay. So, you can now have 21. And then, meron ka na ngayong R. Okay? So, square root of 66.5 and 21 squared. Okay? So, the value is 69.74. Okay? So, kung gusto nyo kunin yung angle ng resultant, walang problema. So, you can still get the theta. Okay? So, since negative si x... And then, positive naman si Y. So, paganto po yung inyong resultant. So, eto yung nakuha nating theta. Okay? So, you can have 17.53 degrees. Okay po. Okay? So, let's have the problem 3.27. Okay? Last two problems. Okay? The resultant of the three forces shown is a counterclockwise couple of magnitude 150 pound feet. Calculate the magnitude of the forces. Ayan, nilagyan ko na ng mga slope, ano? 
So, kada isang block daw ay 1 feet, a uh, 1 foot, no? So, ito 1, 2, 3, 4, kaya 1, 2, 3, kaya 3. Okay, ito naman, 1, 2, kaya 2, and then 1, 2, 3, kaya 3. Okay, so I have that. Ang gagawin lang natin dyan, summation forces horizontal. Okay, so unahin natin itong force na to, force P1. Okay, so to the left side siya, so you can have negative 2 all over square root of 13 of P1. And then minus P2, ito po yun. And then ito, to the right siya, yung P3 natin, so you can have 4 over 5 of P3. And that's equal to 0. Equation 1. Summation forces vertical. <coughs> you can have here this P1. Pataas siya, vertical. So 3 over square root of 13 of P1. Wala ka na sa P2, no? So meron ka na lang P3. Okay? So that is 3 over 5 of P3 equals to 0. So again... Tatlo yung namawala mo, P1, P2, P3. So, kailangan mo ng tatlong equations. Meron ka ng vertical, meron ka ng horizontal. Ang kailangan mo na lang dito is the moment. Okay? So, summation tayo ng moment about point B. Pwede kang mamili kahit saan, ha? Pwede kang mamili sa A, pwede kang mamili sa O. Inano ko lang sa B, para yung P2, wala na akong moment. Itong B, wala na akong moment. So, ito na lang meron akong moment. Okay? Sa P1 na lang. Okay? So, equal daw yan sa 150 pounds. Okay? Pound feet. So, check natin. So, ito, yung pinaka-horizontal natin. This force. Ito yun. 2 over square root of 31 of P3. Ang moment arm niya, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, you can have 5. And then ito, again, you can have it 3 over square root of 13 of P1. At ang kanyang moment arm is only 1. Okay? So ito lang po. Ito lang yung distance niya. Okay? So 1. Equal daw yan so 150. Okay? So with that, you can now solve for P1, P2, and then P3. Okay? Pwede nyo nang gamitin yung calculator nyo to solve for 3. Or... Pwede nyo manumanuhin. Wala pong problema. Okay? So, that's it for 3.27. Okay. Last problem, 3.29. The bar AB, which is inclined at an angle of theta to the horizontal, is subjected <coughs> to four forces shown. Knowing that these forces have no resultant, neither force nor a couple, determine P1, P2, and theta. So, kapag ganyan, wala kang resultant, ibig sabihin yung summation forces x mo is 0, summation forces y mo is 0, and then your couple is 0. Kapag 0 po lahat yan, sasabihin natin that the system is in equilibrium. Okay? So, equilibrium, ibig sabihin, hindi yan gagalaw. Okay? Walang external force. So, ang ginawa ko dito, kinomponent muna natin yung P1. So, you can have P1 sine of 30. And then we have here P1 cosine of 30. And then, tsaka ako nag-summation forces horizontal. So, P1 sine of 30 to the right, minus 50 pounds to the left. Wala ka ng ibang forces horizontal equal to 0. So, you can now have P1 is equals to 100. Yan lang. Next, summation forces vertical. So, meron akong... 100 cosine 30 for the P1. Okay, ito na po yun. And then, meron akong P2. And then, pababa, minus 300 equal to 0. I can now have the P2. 213.40 pounds. Okay? And then, lastly, pwede akong mag-moment na lang at this point. Okay? Kasi ito, perpendicular naman siya. Okay, perpendicular yan. Okay? Ah... Uh, <coughs> so you can have it um, subjected to force knowing that this ayon. Okay. Ah, sorry. Wala pala siyang sinabi if that is perpendicular or not. Okay. So ang gagawin natin dito, okay, we still need to have the component 
of depending on the theta. No? So, hindi pala sinabi if this force is perpendicular as long as the P1 is inclined 30 degrees to the vertical. Okay? So, wala pong sinabing ganun. Ano? So, what we do is we take the moment at point B. So, summation tayo ng moment at point B. Okay? So, you can have it as counterclockwise to be positive. So, you can have it as 300. Okay? And then, the moment arm is ito po ano? Mula dito. So, that is 5 cosine of theta. Okay? And then, you can have that as itong force P1 sine of theta that would create a clockwise. So, minus. You can have the P1 100 sine of 30 multiplied by if this is 90 degrees and then this is 10, that would be 10 sine of theta. Okay? And then you can have the upward force. Again, it will cross rotate clockwise so that is minus 100 cosine of 30 and its distance ito naman mula dito hanggang doon so you can have it as 10 cosine of 30 so equal to 0 okay so that you can now have the theta equal to let's try to solve oh this is sine of theta no? theta okay Okay, so the theta is equals to 51.74 degrees. Okay, so that's it for the problems for 3.29. Okay, so trying to solve all the even numbers. So until hanggang saan ba to? Uh, that is the resultant. Hanggang dyan sa resultant ng complainer forces. Okay? So, until next uh, meeting, so we will be having the next topic.